I finished a diff swap and LSD install and installed new bushings in my reconditioned subframe. Now it's time to address a weak point in the E46 chassis by reinforcing the rear subframe mounts. There are many kits available, I chose a Condor Speed Shop one since I was already ordering their bushings. The kit reinforces all four subframe mounts and has a couple spacers for the subframe bracket. To get started, I wire wheeled off the areas the brackets would be welded to. It wasn't entirely clear which orientation the brackets are mounted, so I consulted their install video. Then, I traced the outline of the bracket and ground the area down to get some clean metal to weld to. The included bolts are used just to hold the plates in place temporarily. After test fitting again, everything looked good. The second hole in the middle is going to be filled with weld, but I mistakenly did not grind the metal behind this area. If you are doing this install, be sure to clean up that area too. Next, I tacked the plate in place and did the same for all four corners. I first had to fix a clogged welding gas tube. H how does that even happen? Then, I still had some issues with wire feed, but I seemed to resolve them well enough. Some of the plates had to be bent to shape, but this only requires a vise in your hands. They aren't too hard to fit, but I was sure to reference their installation video to make sure they were going in properly. Eventually, I had all four plates tacked in, and the test fit of the subframe looked good, so I finished welded them. I ground down the welds near the bushings flush so they would mount properly. Some of the welds didn't come out great, but overall I had decent coverage. I did have a hard time with an inconsistent arc, and spent a while messing with the wire feed rate, but eventually I settled with what I had. Those holes that I didn't clean well behind did in fact not come out great, but I did the best I could. Next, I went in from the top to farther reinforce the upper layers of sheet metal. The kit comes with these metal plates that are used to cover the holes we'll be cutting in. I traced the outline that went a little bit inward to know where to cut. I decided it would be easier to cut out only three sides to create a flap I could then fold back down and re-weld as opposed to welding in the whole new plate. The installation video is not entirely clear, but it looks like you're supposed to drill out the existing spot welds and cut out the first layer of sheet metal in between them. Then, I cleaned up the area with an aggressive wire wheel as best I could before welding it in place. I decided to leave the flap the way it is in case I decide to add members to reinforce my subframe and shock towers, depending on how well the roll cage goes. 
Going back underneath, I sprayed on some primer and paint to help keep the rust out. The subframe studs went back in, then the subframe itself. I actually put the studs in the wrong spot. They're supposed to go in the front, not the rear. After I fix this and reinstall the brackets in their dry shaft, I can move on to the rear suspension. That's the control arms, trailing arms, and all the bushings. Then I get the different axles reinstalled. Then the rear end will basically be done. As always, thanks for watching and feel free to like, comment, and subscribe.